The sucky thing is you'll beat him and then he'll just be here again. No, he won't. Okay. They don't resummon mini bosses. How do you know this is a mini boss? Because the Crucible Knights always counted as a mini boss. You absolute buffoon. But we're in an end game area, you so maybe he's not. Baboon. <laughs> Are you gonna fling poop at me next? <laughs> Would you shut up? I, one of my favorite TikToks that I've ever seen was uh, it was kind of like the one you showed me today, where it was like girls when someone calls them ugly and it's them crying, and then it's like boys when you fling the most vicious slur ever imaginable at them. But the TikTok I saw was like a bunch of guys. You passed by it, by the way. Oh, geez, that's scary. It was a bunch of guys like sitting around, uh, like sitting around like a thing together down there, and one of them was playing the guitar, and they're like, "It's the Eye of the Tiger," <laughs> and they're all like singing it together. <laughs> men superior? I think so. But it's very true. Like men, I've noticed men do not care. Do you think men get offended less? Generally speaking, yes. And I, yeah, I don't know. I, th I just think, I don't know if it's because we're kind of used to it. Like, we're just used to people being rude to us and not caring at all. I kind of think that might be it. So it's, you know, at some point, men have just kind of learned to be like, yeah, whatever. But I kind of think it's a, I don't think you're too far away for that to hit. Oh, I, st I stand corrected. I kind of think there is something, though, about guys, specifically guy friends, just kind of bashing each other and not caring at all. Like, it's just kind of funny. Yeah, to them. Yeah. Whoa, the get out of there, what is that? A nice dodge, that was pretty epic. Thank you. <clears throat> oh... I hate this boss. Oh, nice! I did a lot of damage. So is the way to beat this just magic? I think so. Oh, man. When he turns into the two-winged angel, I get scared. I know, right? Do pebbles. Pebbles? Yeah, finish off with pebbles, because it, it stuns him. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like a couple more hits only. <laughs> what? How much health does he have? <laughs> okay, finally. <laughs> okay, at least suck my souls, bro. And you didn't get any items. What? <laughs> you didn't get any items. What? That is stupid. The only consolation prize is hopefully he's not here anymore. He won't be here anymore. Okay. If he is here in the future, I'm going to kill you. All right, well, that was against YouTube Terms of Service, so I guess you're going to be executed Kill you with, with kindness. Yes, you'll be executed, sir. I'm going to kill you with kindness. You never added... Uh, oh, wait, wait. Can, can I say, by the way, since we're actually recording uh, main stuff again. Um, so anyway, I worked at this place, and this guy, like, freaked out at me. Which, like, whatever. This happens at call centers, right? Yeah. Like, just people are dicks, and, like, they don't have anything going on, so they just, like, lash out. Mm-hmm. Um... It happens in retail, too. I'm sure you have, like, 50 stories about that. Oh, yeah. Uh, but basically, this guy said that he was just going to end his own life because he couldn't get it. And I was oh, like, bro, geez. why would you put that on me? You know what I mean? Right. Like, you really think that's my fault? Mm -hmm. Like, what? Like, he literally said, and I'm not kidding, I said, like, well, you know, I will personally appeal for your case then that they will, like, call back and I will talk to the, the lawyer and be like, hey, listen, like, this is actually, like, a important one um, I can't do anything to make them uh, but I can have them call you back and actually you know talk with you and meet with you so that you can get like a more personal response on it because like I'm just the help right and he was like well don't even bother like I'll be dead by the next time you call Jeez. and I was like okay yeah <laughs> like don't you think like so to me by the way to me at the time this really like messed me up yeah, well, that's just kind of sad for you, like, to think about. Um, well, also, like, why put that on someone who's, it's not their fault? Right. Like, can you imagine if, like, your tire got flattened and someone was like, you're, and you're like, hey, do you have a spare tire? It's like, 
no. Oh, well, then I guess I'm going to be sexually assaulted on the side of the road because of you. <laughs> right. It's, it's like, like okay. well, it's not my fault. <laughs> right. Like, I'm not trying to say, like, well, it's your fault for being hey, born. America. Yeah. Uh, I, like, it's not your, yeah, I'm not saying, like, it's your fault for being born with a disability, idiot. Like, I'm not saying that. Right. I'm just saying, like, well, it's not my fault either. Like, I didn't, right. like, create you with a disability. You're just the messenger. And, and I didn't go, like, <laughs> let's deny this guy. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you think you're disabled now? <laughs> right. Like, it's not like I'm sitting around, like, plotting geniusly how to, like, ruin your life. <laughs> like, what are we doing here? Like, I just don't get it. It was so stupid, right. too. And now, in hindsight, to me, I know that the person said this because they were, like, probably a very hurt individual. Yeah. But how bad morally of a person do you have to be to try and put your, your, I'm just going to say the word, suicide on someone else who has nothing to do with it? Yeah, like, well... I feel like you have to be, like, a very messed up individual in the head to, like, guilt trip someone who has nothing to do with your situation. And, like, because that message is never going to make it to other people. No. Like, you really, like, you think I'm going to be like, oh, well, now we can take it. It's like, bro, I can't do anything about it. I'm not the lawyer. Mm -hmm. So it's like, one, you change nothing. Two, you literally traumatized me. Because that is actually traumatic. Well, yeah. For someone to tell him, like, I'm going to end my life because of you. Well, because if he actually did end his life, then you now you're thinking about that for the rest of your life of, uh, that... That's my fault, even though it's not. Well, and that's what I'm saying. And, like, now that I've gotten older and in some ways in some ways nicer and in other ways more jaded, part of me is like, well, if you were going to end your life because some random person tried to help you and couldn't, mm -hmm. like, maybe you're not the best person anyway. Like, I'm not saying, like, maybe you should die, <laughs> but I'm saying, like, maybe you're not a very good person that you're going to guilt trip people for that. Yeah. Who have nothing to do with it. Because, like, that is you intentionally... Like I'm going to sound like the biggest liberal here of all time. That is you intentionally giving someone else a traumatic experience mm -hmm. because you're upset. <clears throat> right. So it's like, I'm not saying, like, well, do everyone's better without you. I'm not, like, saying that. I'm just saying, like, well, you know, if you are, like, threatening people with that who don't know you who it's not their fault that you're in your experience, mm -hmm. and you're trying to hurt them by doing that, I'm sorry, but you're not a good person. Like, I understand that you're hurting. I get that. But I have chronic pain every day, and I don't talk about it all the time. But, like, what? so just because I have chronic pain every day, like, I hurt every single second of my existence since I was 15 years old, I have pain. Right. Every second. Do you think that that gives me the right to be mean to you? No. Like, what do you have to do with it? Yes, I'm hurting, but, like, whose fault is that? It's not mine. It's not yours. Mm -hmm. So, like, what are what are we doing here? What am I accomplishing? Like, I'm just being a bad person. This is literally, like, I thought we learned this from Ebenezer Scrooge. Like, the guy is miserable, so he makes other people miserable. And the whole point is, like, well, that's bad. Right. Like, children learn that lesson. Children. And it's like, you're trying to do that to me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, originally, like, it really upset me and really, really messed me up. And nowadays, I'm I'm trying to be careful here, because I also don't want it to come off like, I hope he is gone. And I'm not <laughs> right. saying that. But what I'm saying is, like, if you are going to purposely inflict that trauma on other people to hurt them when they have nothing to do with your circumstance, I just think you're a bad person. Like, yeah, I just think you, at the very least, like, maybe have some kind of mental illness you need to get looked at because, like, that's not normal to try and hurt other people just because you have a problem. I know there are a lot of people who do it, but that's not, like, a normal and okay thing in society that people will just put up with. Like, if you do that to your family, eventually they leave. Mm -hmm. If you do that to your spouses, eventually they divorce you. If you do that to your kids, eventually they stop talking to you. People don't put up with that. Like, the only reason you're doing that is because I'm someone you don't know, and you're in pain, so you can inflict that pain on me, and you'll never have to deal with it. Even if it's not, like, you consciously choosing it, subconsciously, that's why you're doing this. Right. This is the marker we're supposed to get to, by the way. So there is... It could be up on top of stuff. Let me see here. Let's see what this one... Even is what we're looking for. We're looking for the Devourer Scepter that's here. 
So the Devourer Scepter is... Let's see where it's found. <clears throat> it's dropped by Knight Burnhall when defeated. He hasn't invaded me yet. So he invades you here. Well, it, it reminds me of... I'm not going to say who this is. but is I Someone used, we know? Yes. Do I know them? Yeah. Okay. I used to know this person... Well, not used to. I know this person. When? Um, uh, right now. Oh, okay. Sorry. And this person had a friend mm -hmm. who I don't know why they were friends, but they were. And this friend would guilt trip this person by threatening suicide. Actually. This friend, this friend of this person I know liked him. Oh, I know so, what we're talking about. So are we yeah, so... Okay, got so it. So they would, um... So this was the person that this, that this... Why can't we say, like, the the title of the friend? Because I don't, I don't know, I don't know if, like, they want me telling this about this. Okay, <laughs> got it. So I, I know so, you So basically this person was like... The, the person, the person liked... My friend. Right, and didn't your friend kind of like the person? They kind of did, yeah. But the person had, like, some mental thing, and they would constantly threaten suicide, actually, to get my friend to drive out to their place, so then oh, they could, that? so then they could, like, see them. Can you go that way? I think so, yeah. Here, here, you might want to be a play, because it's, this area is not cleared out, unless okay. you want to fight everything. <clears throat> so then they could, like, see them. Right. And I've always, and my friend always just put up with it. But I've always thought that it was, like, kind of douchey. You know, your friend's parents also told them to stop putting up with Yeah, them. literally. Making sure we're talking about the same person. We are, yeah. And I've always found that kind of douchey, because it's like, you know... Whoa. Oh, this is cool. Because I've always been like... Suicide's kind of a pretty serious thing. Well, it's just... And... It's not like a big, you know, giggles thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm like, if you actually are suicidal, like, that kind of sucks. It actually genuinely does. That's an awesome helmet. But I'm like, why would you sit here and use that as ammunition to get this person to drive out to your house just so you could, like, hang out with them? Like, why would you even threaten that? I'd be embarrassed when they got there. Well, yeah, and it's like, and and it, it didn't even extend to my friend. It extended to this person's aunt, who they lived with. At the time, it extended to her. Oh, they do this to everyone? Yeah, like, she would... Because then she would, like, call the cops. Because it's like, oh, man, this person's going to, you know, end her life. Right. So then she would, like, call the cops. You know, my friend would rush out there. And I've, and it's and it always was, like, a false alarm. They, it always just turned out it was, like... It, I kind of I kind of assumed it just they wanted attention. Mm -hmm. Do you like this? I... I, I like love the, the helmet. helmet. I love the helmet. The armor, I think, is fine. I don't hate it. Everything else I like, though. What if we switch the helmet, though, so we don't have to look at our chin? Yeah, let's... Well, the crimson chin is great. But let's look, let's switch back to the, the pot. Like, uh, like, do you want the pot or, like, the whole pot outfit? I like the pot head. Like, let's just do the turn. <laughs> this is so funny. You just want to do this? Yeah. Okay. It reminds me of the Onion Knight helmet. We didn't go in there, by the way. Sorry. And I love the Onion Knight helmet. <clears throat> But so anyways, you're, you're I guess saying this person was a bad person. Well, I guess what I'm trying to say is this reminds me of that situation. It's like, oh, nice. If you are, if you're going to actually do that, like, you know, end yourself. Not that it's like okay, but if you're going to do that, I guess my thing is either get the help or don't use it for, for, uh, don't use it for attention. I guess is what I'm trying to say. You know, right. don't like you're, you're like, don't like threaten it and then make everyone all scared and worried and then just be like, oh, well, thanks for coming out. Because it's like, well, now you're just using like an actual like serious thing that people go through to just be like, well, hey, yeah, well, I got some attention here. Right. Also, and, like, the Crucible Knight's not there anymore. OK, that's good. That is really good. And that that always kind of pissed me off so that. Oh, jeez. <laughs> So maybe that's what they meant by regret ahead. <laughs> yeah, well, I went where you wanted me to go, though. Like, you wanted me to go up there. Yeah. But it's a dead end. Well. So I, I'm just trying to figure out, like, how to... How do you get up there, then? That's what I don't understand. I, I really don't know. I, 
am confused by it. Okay. Okay. Let's see, Let's see if I can get a... Let's see. Okay, come on! Get out of here! I hate that bird! <laughs> is this like I like that bird? <laughs> this is like the I hate that bird. <laughs> evil mate be like, I hate that bird. <laughs> okay, leave me alone! Dude! Bruv! Bruv? Govna! Govna? In it! Inuit? In it. Oh, okay. I don't say Inuit. So this person starts out with this by being... Jeez. Oh, right. Actually, once you kill these birds... I'm not killing them, I'm running. Okay. Oh no, oh no, oh no, I've made a mistake. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, you were getting murdered here. Jeez. So there's a site of grace you have to go to, and I... Once you can pull Wait, up there's the a map, thing here. Once you can pull up the map, I'll tell you where it is. Let me just keep running here. I did Whoa, this why is this thing, like, glowing? I did this for the Inuits. <laughs> Alright, ancient somber stone of bone or whatever. Okay, now can you pull up the map? Yeah, but I, I have to go back and get my... So Wait, here's the thing. There is a site of grace, essentially exactly where we were, oh, where that marker is. And at that site of grace is where they start out. But how to get there, I, I don't know. Do you want to tell me, though, about what you were going to say? Well, I think I, all I was going to say is just, if you... Your souls are backed by that side of grace. I know, but I also oh, want to okay. see what's there. Do you not want me to right now? Well, you can. Well, I, I'm going to get the souls first. Okay. You're, you're talking about well, guilt-tripping people. I was just going to say, if you're going... Like, don't use that to guilt-trip trip people. That's all I was going to say, because, like, there are people who actually struggle with this stuff, and, you know depression and mental health and stuff like that yeah i have depression and, yeah and it and it's always seemed like something like it's always just seemed like it always has just seemed like you're making a mockery of that by just being like oh well here's like this serious thing that people struggle with i'm gonna use it for attention and right. to me it's kind of like okay i guess you got your attention but you're you also kind of pissed off everyone because right nobody likes you well yeah because now everyone's just like oh okay so we got all worried and scared for nothing right and now they're encouraging you to do no i'm just kidding <laughs> but it also is like it also is like the you know boy who cried wolf because to me it's like if you keep doing that eventually people are going to be kind of like oh yeah yeah i guess so yeah and then maybe that is the one time you actually do decide to do it Right. So it's like, I, I don't know what you're trying to accomplish here, I guess is my point, is, yeah, you want attention, sure, but isn't there... Jeez. I'm done going for these souls. Like, it's just not worth it. You tell me where you want me to go. Isn't there better ways to get attention... Yes. ...than threatening self-deletion? Yes. Yeah, and to me, that always is just... Well, yeah. That always has just, just made you, uh... That always just made you kind of a loser to me. Yeah. So go back to the place where we fought the uh, uh, the Crucible Knight. I don't know how to get there. I think from... Well, okay. So here, if we go to the left and then in there... Are you sure you don't want me to just go here? Yeah, just go here. And then we can just go to the Crucible Knight place. Okay. Okay, so now to go down here, but there might be the bridge that you have to bring up. Hey, did you see this has, like, dragon wings on it? Yeah. That's cool. That's pretty cool. You like, made a cape out of it. No, I, I agree with you. And I don't know, my, my point is just that was, like, one of the worst, like, jobs I've ever done. Yeah. Well, it seemed very depressing. It was. And I also just can't imagine being such a bad person that I would use an issue like that to, like, hurt people. Yeah. I don't know. Well, to me, you have to be a special kind of bad person to use... Really, any tra than down here, really any tragic situation to hurt other people. Like if you're, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter what it is. If you're using any tragic situation to like specifically target and hurt people, then that just kind of makes you a bad person, right? Because you're using this bad situation, and then go straight ahead. I thought, oh yeah, okay, yeah. That other people already have to deal with every day, right? 
and like already don't have the luxury of getting help on. Right. The fact yeah. that we even looked up an item description means we didn't beat the game. <laughs> I'm gonna just I'm just gonna say it. I'm gonna say it right now. Like we did not beat this game. We played on easy. <laughs> I like that TikTok from software fans when you don't find out lore from moldy cheese. Yeah. <laughs> uh. God, these guys are annoying. So do all these people that hate when you look up stuff, do all of them hate... Themselves, because like, they do it too? Well, yeah, but I was going to say back in the day when there was, um... Uh, like those books you could buy... Oh, I have some of those video game guides. Yeah, did they hate those? Do you like those, by the way? I, yeah, I love video game guides. Why didn't you own any? I never owned any because my mom... Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. It's actually because my mom never allowed us to buy them when we were kids. Because she always said that seems like a waste of money. And then did your mom also laugh when Paul Walker died? No. <laughs> yes, she did. She was like, oh, okay, well, he'll go to hell then. She did not say that. She said something like that. She was like, oh, he's a drunk driver. I hope he enjoys hell. No, she did She just said, like, she just said, she said, like, oh, well, he was probably drinking, so I guess that's what he got or something. Yeah, what the heck? <laughs> okay, but to be fair, if you're actually drinking and then going and driving, in my opinion, it's like, well, what are you expecting is going to happen? Okay, well, what to if... To be fair... What if that happened to, like, your dad or something? If like, my dad had was... drink at work and then he died, would you be like, well, he did, was if drinking he and was, driving? Oh, I don't care. If if my dad was drunk, then I'd, I want to say I, would, I don't care, but I'd say, You're like, oh, I don't miss him. No, I'd say, I'd say, like, well, what was he doing driving? Like, that seems kind of like his problem here. So you just wouldn't carry dad? Uh, actually, go back to the other side of Grace, because then we get one closer. Yeah, go to that one. I forgot. I mean, I would care that he died, but yeah, I also wouldn't be like, well, it's it's no one's problem. It's just like, no. It, Nobody it just, said it was no one's problem. Well, that you I, just tried to defend your mom, like, wanting Paul Walker's corpse in her living room as, like, a decoration. <laughs> like, I can't help it. Your mom said something fucked up. My mom said some stuff that's messed up, too. Like, you don't have to defend it. It's okay. Well, yeah, I do have to defend it. Like, I just thought it was messed up when she was like, well, I hope they kill his character in the stupid movies now, too. <laughs> You didn't care about Paul Walker dying, that's what you're really offended about? Yeah, yeah. I was like, no! Oh! Brian! <laughs> He's like family! <laughs> I shove your mom, like, into the wall. <laughs> Do not talk bad about Brian! <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Kind of weird your mom came out as racist on that day. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. What were we talking about, by the way? Um, oh, wait, you never added my dick to a song. To a song or a movie? Or, or a movie. Okay. Or a movie. Okay. Because I was thinking of... Um, I was thinking of a... of a um, of, From Star Wars. And it's, who is the more foolish? The fool or the fool who follows my dick? It's not very funny, but that's yeah, kind of funny. <laughs> that's what I thought. <laughs> I also can't get anywhere because the enemies here are so fast. Have you noticed this? I have, yeah. They're like ridiculously fast. Do you want me to try? <sighs> Do you want to? Sure. I'm apparently not doing a very good job. I can try. Watch, I'll get this first try. Let's cut ahead. Okay. 